Today I'm going to ACMA, the Orange County Museum of Art, because there's an Alice Neal exhibit and I love Alice Neal. I already saw this exhibition. There's only a week left, so I want to catch it again before it's gone. I've got my little drawing supplies in here. Let's go, it'll be so much fun. And now, here's the Alice Neal exhibition. Alice Neal has been one of my favorite artists for a long time. She's one of the first artists that I really considered to ever be a favorite. I love the wonkiness of her paintings, how she places someone's personal characteristics and mannerisms above proportions. I feel like she paints people with such compassion. And as I looked at each painting, I found myself wondering about the person in the painting and what they must have been like in that moment while they were posing and what they were thinking about. I attended this show with my mom and she was really into piecing together who the people were. Like there was this one person, Ginny, and my grandma's name was Ginny, and we kept seeing Ginny in multiple paintings. My mom and I also talked a lot about the clothes in the paintings because a significant amount of these works are from the 70s and 80s when my mom was growing up. And there was this one, and the girl had a pair of moccasins on. My mom said she had a pair just like that. We couldn't help ourselves but to find resemblances between the people in these paintings and our own family. Like the little boy with freckles all over reminded me of my uncle and younger pictures of him. And then the dad with curly black hair and glasses and the way that he was positioned in that chair looked like old pictures of my dad holding me. And the painting of Alice Neal's mother and the kind look on her face reminded me of my grandma. And then she also painted New Jersey and her hometown. She grew up in Pennsylvania, and my grandpa lives in Pennsylvania. So the houses really remind me of my grandpa's house, the way that they're split in the middle. Alice Neal is so good at knowing when a painting is finished. She's so good at describing certain areas and leaving things out when they're not necessary, like the patterns on clothes or chairs are always amazing and specific. I 
I also found myself looking at the hands in these paintings. She always seemed to put so much care into the hands. Mm -hmm.